What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Lockdown Career Mode, it's episode number 86 and today we are turning with the EFL Cup Final, our first of the save as we face Chelsea at Wembley going for our second major honour of the series to add to the FA Cup we won last year. We got to the final by beating Manchester United in that crazy thriller over two legs where we won on penalty shootout even though the game says they won on away goals which of course isn't true and uh, Chelsea of course beat Arsenal by four goals to one in an all London affair. So yeah, three times in four seasons we went to the EFL Cup semi-final, finally got over the hurdle and again today we will face Chelsea. So we will pick the kids for the game and let's just dive right into it. It'll be our backup team at Wembley with Reading in the FA Cup last 16 in midweek. Of course we want to win it but as I said the board don't care about the competition, neither do I and if the kids and the reserves and the backup brigade have got us here it would be un fair to drop them and bring in the starters for the final. So first and only game is our first ever EFL Cup final. Chelsea at Wembley as we go in search of our first major honour of this season to possibly go on our way to a quadruple and of course look for our second major honour of this series so far. Come on Nottingham Forest. Games for Ben White and Tyler Adams that of course are signed on transfer deadline day as well. We'll talk about a special occasion to make your debut as well. A cup final here. And uh, it's going to be a tough task for Ben White as well, but a great interception there, dealing with Timo Werner, one of the most deadliest strikers in the country. Should be a good game though, and again, despite having a backup team, I think this is going to be really, really even here. We've still got a lot of quality in our side, there's no doubt about that. And we've got three Manchester United, so why not Chelsea as well? Kovacic, tackled by Ferguson, will drop to Hudson Adoy. Werner takes over, and it is all Chelsea to start the game off here. Careful, careful, there we go, it's all good, it's all good. Bryce Sam, by the way, captain in the side, this might well be his final season for the club. Uh, he is 29 years old now, I think he'll turn 30 before the season is done. Yes! And I'm not sure if he wants to say as a backup for young Sam Robinson, but Tyrese Campbell, who runs through the advertising hoardings, has just made it 1-0 and Forest lead at Wembley. Quick little move forward, Marco to Brennan, offloads to Campbell and the son of Kevin fires Forest in front in the EFL Cup final. One of those moments where I've got so much time, I worry I make the wrong decision, I overthink it. But instead he blasts it in at the near post, beats Kepper and Lampard side four behind early. Just imagine the cameras panning to his dad in the stands watching his son score a goal for his former club at Wembley in a cup final. You know, when we lost to Manchester United in the first leg of the semi-final Old Trafford, I thought we were still in the tie, we still had a chance, we only trailed by one over two legs. But it was going to be really tough for us to come back from that, but we did, and now we lead in the final. Long way to go though, but I must say we look we look we look like so we're more up for the game, if that makes sense. Chelsea got more quality, but we look more up for it today. Backup Brigade have got a point to prove. That's why they want more starts. They want more minutes with crucial Premier League games to come. And of course the Champions League knockout stages too. Where we should be into the quarterfinal after our first leg. Demolition job of Valencia. But here come Chelsea. Callum hudson Doy. Fine space. What a save by Bryce Samba. And that's why I want him to stay. Marco to Brennan. Holds off Matteo and whips it out wide to Ferguson. There's Alex Mainton down the left. Hasn't been too good this season. That's a lovely reverse back heel to Brennan. Oh, no! Oh, I should have struck it. He's got one. He could have had another. I saw the man Bakaya right next to him try to offload and give a simple finish for the former Arsenal man, but it just there was just too many blue shirts in the way. Wrong decision. Should have been 2-0. First half, there's no really, 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 really action packed as we man. enter stoppage time. Can we hold on to the lead heading into the dressing room? Aguilar with Nathan Ferguson to beat. Good tackle. He's so versatile, Ferguson, and that's why I've kept him here. Right back, left back, centre back, he can do the lot. Half time though, and Tyrese Campbell's goal means we lead at Wembley despite having the backup brigade out there. 45 minutes away from our first ever EFL Cup winner's medal. Come on, Forrest. Chelsea have dominated possession, but I'd say it's been a really even contest so far. Can't really split the teams at the moment. I must say, too, defensively today, I've been really impressed by our back line. You know, White stepped in for his debut. He's done really, really well. Carter has done well too at right back. Ferguson's done well at left back. And Fakayo is always really good for us. Still 1-0 as Saka finds the young man Carter. Beats Pulisic. Has space to whip in a dangerous cross, but Kepa claims it well. 
10 minutes after the restart, still up by a goal here. Tolisso for Chelsea, the captain coming forward, needing to do something here as Carter makes a tackle bit deflects right to Timo Werner. And now Pulisic, great ball inside, and Golovin scuffs it and choked as he was sent through one on one. He took it on so early and thankfully drilled it well wide of Bryce Sanders' left hand post. 23 minutes to go, still up by a goal at Wembley. Corner. Chelsea, Jorginho comes on for Golovin, Lodi whips it in at the near post, Vandenberg is on hand to clear it away, Saka loses the aerial duel, and here's Luis Felipe, Charles remains alive, the Blues in desperation mode now, needing a goal, needing a leveller, and Hudson Odoi almost got it, Samba with a save at the near post, 10 minutes to hold on, they're going for it now, they're going for it, they need to go for it, off the line, Moynton, and Aguila to Prince on the turn, Fikayo comes out to meet him, and he's put on the floor, in goes the cross, Ben White is there, what a performance. And Alex Moynton keeps us leading by one. As Vandenberg whips it out wide too. The guy that saved us. And kept us leading. And can wrap it up. Alex Moynton secures it. Goal saver at one end, goal scorer at the other. Alex Moynton, a tough season for him, but he's just won us our first ever EFL Cup. Forest lead by two. Beats his man, steps in from the left, given the space, given the freedom, and you saw all through last season, particularly in the Europa League, this is what he does best. Stepping in from the left, shooting with the right, drills it past the Spaniard, and that will do it. Forest are going to win their first ever EFL Cup with the backup brigade. Werner for Chelsea, if they're going to do it, they need to do it now, Timo Werner, great save by Samba again, sticking out a left leg, denying the German, and Werner's shot then blocked by Tomori, and that will do it, Bryce Samba today, and the whole of the back line, absolutely phenomenal. Continuous heartbreak for Nottingham Forest in the EFL Cup semi-final since the save began. But what's that old expression? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what we did. We kept on trying. We finally got to our first cup final in the EFL Cup and we leave with the silverware as well. I've got to say though, really, we should have lost this one. Chelsea were the far better team. We played all right, but the Blues were stronger. But had it not been for Bryce Samba making save after save after save, some committed defending, particularly from Vakayo and Ben, the CB duo today, we would have lost this one. Instead, the boys at the back ensure we kept the clean sheet and we get the trophy as well. Our first ever EFL Cup, it's in the trophy cabinet to join the FA Cup. And considering how we've played this year, being one of the best teams, if not the best team in the country, well, I said it, why not make this the first of four trophies this year as we go for a historic quadruple? So one down, three to go. Yep, EFL Cup final in the cabinet. EFL Cup trophy, I should say. And as you can see with the stats here, Chelsea... Far better team. You know, I'm not even going to try and deny it at all. They were a much, much, much better team. They had a lot more of the ball. Higher pass accuracy, more shots, more on target. But again, we had Bryce Samba to thank for making some brilliant saves. I'll give everyone a glass of champagne and a momentous bottle for securing the win. It was a real team effort. But again, defensively, really. I mean, Ben White, great debut for him. Tamori was brilliant. Nathan Ferguson, look at him. At left back, he was fantastic today. Everyone put in a great shift. But I think Samba, really, for the saves he made, is the guy that deserves all the plaudits as he got to have his hands on his first ever trophy as well winning the EFL Cup and captaining us to it so that's it then EFL Cup has won and um, yeah buzzing man one down again why not win the other three as well come on Forrest we're a winning team now let's go for the quadruple and that will end today's episode of the lockdown career with as well guys so a massive thank you for watching I really hope you have enjoyed it if you did enjoy today's episode then please do drop a like much love to you all and I'll see you for the next episode featuring four big away days in three different competitions as we face Crystal Palace and Burnley on the road in the Premier League Reading and Bedeski Stadium in the FA Cup round of 16 and the second leg of our Champions League round of 16 tie against Valencia and Mestalla very soon.